we will begin morning prayer from Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Tequesta, Florida uh, on this Thursday, August 4th, 2022. The morning prayer is brought to you by Good Shepherd, and you can join us by going to goodsheponline.org. Click on the worship tab, and uh, there is underneath that, there's prayer. If you scroll down, you will find a picture of prayer books in the pew, and click on it, and that will join you to our live service of Zoom. Underneath that are the uh, lectionaries for the day that you can follow along. If you would like to join later in the day, you can find this on all of the Good Shep uh, media, YouTube, Facebook, and of course on our page at goodsheponline.org. So welcome. I hope it is a nice day where you all are. It is an absolutely bluebird day in Minnesota. Um, Today, there will not be humidity, uh, they say, and uh, about 80, so uh, hard to beat that. We will begin our morning prayer with the opening sentences. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Welcome, Julie and Pete. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our invitatory psalm is the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are the people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 145. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. I will ponder the glorious splendor of your majesty and all your marvelous works. They shall speak of the might of your wondrous acts, and I will tell of your greatness. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness. They shall sing of your righteous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his compassion is all over his works. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. 
they make known the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power. And the people may know of your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is faithful in all his words and merciful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall. He lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the needs of every living creature. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord shall, is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and helps them. The Lord preserves all those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning continues with Judges, chapter 8, verses 22 through 35. Then the Israelites said to Gideon, rule over us, you and your son and your grandson also, for you have delivered us out of the hand of Midian. Gideon said to them, I will not rule over you, and my son will not rule over you. The Lord will rule over you. Then Gideon said to them, let me make a request of each of you. Give me an earring he has taken as booty, for the enemy has golden ear earrings because they were Ishmaelites. We will willingly give them, they answered. So they spread a garment and each threw into it an earring he had taken as booty. The weight of the golden earrings that he requested was 1,700 shekels of gold, apart from the crescents and the pendants and the purple garments worn by the kings of Gideon and the collars that were on the necks of their camels. Gideon then made an effort of it and put it in his town in Ophrah. And all Israel prostituted themselves to it there. And it became a snare to Gideon and to his family. So Midian was subdued before the Israelites and they lifted up their heads no more. So the land had rest for 40 years in the days of Gideon. Jerubal, son of Joshua, Joash, went to live in his own house. Now Gideon had 70 sons, his own offspring, for he had many wives. His concubine, who was in Shechem, also bore him a son, and he named him Abimelech. Then Gideon, son of Joash, died at a good old age and was buried in the tomb of his father Joash at Ophrah of the Abizites. I'm sure I get Abizrites. That's a good one. As soon as Gideon died, the Israelites relapsed and prostituted themselves with the balls, making Bala bear at their god. The Israelites did not remember the Lord their God who had rescued them from the hands of their enemies on every side, and they did not exhibit loyalty to the new house of Jerubal, that is Gideon, in return for all the good that he had done to Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us say together the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretch forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, 
the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand is established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our second lesson this morning is from John chapter 1, verses 43 through 51. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, Shidia, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses and said, we have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, do you believe because I told you what I, that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us say together, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of our Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And now let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we will never hope in vain. The colics for today is proper 13. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, 
Protect and govern it, govern it always by your goodness through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A colic for the renewal of life. O God, the King eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the ways of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for guidance. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with your most gracious favor and further us with continual help that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name and finally, by your mercy, obtain everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for all Christians, but most particularly our brothers and sisters in Christ that through the, throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today, especially the Diocese of Mabel, Uganda, the Right Reverend Pat, Patrick Gedudu Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliar, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Dr. Sabatini Johnson Rasafindo Romp Lombo Bishop. I would hate to have to learn to spell that as a young child. A prayer for mission. Oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Bob and Pam, Darcy, Roman, Peter, Carol Ann, Jim and Jerry, Carolyn, and Bonnie and David. We pray also today for our serve ministries, remembering especially our office volunteers that the mission of Good Shepherd may be expanded through the volunteer service of many of our members and our 12 staff groups, that members of the parish and wider community may be freed from the bonds of addiction through discussion and mutual support. A prayer for the, a prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, Hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite you to uh, bring your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving either shared with all or, or held in the silence of your heart. Ian asks, we pray for all those suffering from the national dis natural disasters, particularly those suffering from the flooding in Kentucky. And I uh, was hoping to ask you the other morning, Ian, about uh, how things were, were going. Uh, it is dreadful having gone through floods in North Dakota, um, although we had time to sandbag. Um, it is truly devastating. Uh, we, dear Lord, we pray for all those in Kentucky who are fighting flooding and loss. We pray for all those in California, particularly the firefighters who are striving greatly with, uh, to make the fire subside. They so need you. Please, dear Lord, help them that they may accomplish this goal and save the beautiful trees. We ask this in your name, amen. Ian also asks that we pray for our vestry and the search committee as we begin the process of calling the next director of Good Shepherd. And of course we pray for that because we want 
a wonderful new priest that will uh, come and inspire all of us to uh, better Christian lives. It's nice to have a good moral leader. And we pray that our vestry and the search committee will be guided by your hand, dear Lord, in finding the person that is just the right fit. And we do, when they are found, have a place for them. Amen. And we prayed earlier in this for David and Bonnie, and, and uh, we had dinner with them the other night, and I told them that we were praying for them. And they're most appreciative. They are not sure yet what kind of treatment they can do, as many of the options are, uh, have already been tried. So we pray for something new and wonderful for our friends, Bonnie and David. And now, let us say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation on all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. And I pray that all of you have a truly wonderful day. Uh, I did just see uh, an article, and I'm so very unhappy with myself for not cutting it out. But the bottom line was that the one thing that we can all do to make this world a better place is to be kind. And I thought, we know that. We've been saying that for a long time. So there you go, guys. We're on the right track. Have a wonderful day. I am not sure whether there's a feast day this week, um, but if there is, join in. If not, we'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, and thank you all for being here. Wendy and Pam and Julie and Pete and Joan and Debbie and Ian, have a great day. <laughs>